For me, first will be the idea of getting the right candidates that will fit into the job descriptions and the job specifications for that or requirements for that particular role. So you would have a situation whereby a lot of people apply, but you don't have the right candidate that will fit into what is required for that role. So that is one great challenge for me as a recruiter. Another one would be having to get platforms to post a particular job you know, that you're looking for. Uh, candidates you're looking for on different platforms. So you might want to like post maybe on LinkedIn, on Twitter, on Indeed, different platforms. Most of these platforms, some of them are not free, some of them are very expensive. So that could be. So of, and most of the softwares that come now are very expensive. So yeah, that could be also a challenge. But for other recruiters, yeah, it, it may pose challenge to them. And lastly, time frame. So trying to get the right candidate with, within a little time frame. So for me, what, what interests me about my job is the fact that um, I wake up every morning going to work to say, okay, today I am going to, uh, you know, give a prospective candidate a job. I'm going to find a job for a prospective candidate. Not from, not just from the aspect of the company, but from the individual perspective. Because myself, I love to help people. I'm waking up every morning going to work to say, okay, I'm going to find a job for someone today. I'm going to recruit someone for a particular job role gives me joy because it also means that I'm adding to the quota of, you know, adding value to the quota of Nigeria. I'm saying that I am solving the issue of unemployment in a way. Yeah. And providing people with jobs which also helps the issue of unemployment. So for me, it gives me great joy. Yeah, that's very interesting. Why candidates fail doing interviews? First of all, I feel lack of preparation. Um, also, the, the idea that they do not also do their proper research about the particular job they are applying for and the role they are applying for. And also, they don't know much about the company. A typical example is uh, a candidate coming for a sales role and he knows nothing about sales. And he cannot now tie, tie his, you know, his skill set and he, what he knows, his experience, to the requirements of the company. So he's saying that he's a sales officer, he went to deliver sales in XYZ company, he must be able to tie that to what is required of the company so he can align his own interests with the company's interests. But most of the time, we see people just coming to a job interview with having no clue of the company, of the job, and they just feel they can ease the interview. So it's always a problem. So it creates that form of lacuna in whenever they come for interview. So they don't try to bridge that gap. Um, my professional advice for those that want to become the officers. Um, for me, I feel that first of all, you must develop the passion for the job. Trust me, recruitment is a very, very interesting, you know, um, career path. I love the job. I love the job. For me, I would, I would feel, I would say that um, aspiring people should also focus on first developing the passion, self development as well, and also, um, you know, researching because. If you want to know more about this particular role, you must always be a, keep yourself updated with the existing trends. So focus more on self-development, communication skills, the different skills that are necessary, emotional intelligence, ability to think critically, problem solving. Yeah, research about that, build those skill set. Then also read about what is expected of you as a recruitment officer and also develop the passion. I'm sure you would ace it. So my final thoughts will be the world today is ever changing and um, we before us to actually keep up with the pace we must also be developing ourselves so so you know fit into the changing realities so if you're a recruitment person or a recruitment officer that wants to go on with taking up a recruitment job role, always make sure that you're, you're a data different um, make sure that you um, take a particular you are you may not actually read any course that do HR but you may develop the interest. Then you start building on that interest, right? So try to develop the interest and build on it by also, you know, doing your research, you know, gathering my, having a mentor too will also help you. Mentorship is very, very good. So when you have that, you know, um, those different areas to help you develop that path towards becoming a very successful recruitment officer. And eventually, if there is need for you to also take up a certification, you may decide to. But the bottom line is that you must first of all, you know, have that interest, then develop it, have a mentor, and walk you through that path. And I'm very sure you become one 
specialized recruit officer in Utah.